Welcome to Getting Started, Coding and Programming on TI Technology. Where we will write our first Python program using the TI Innovator Hub and the TI Inspire CX Premium Teacher Software. To start a program, press Home or On. We need to open up a new document, so arrow over number one for new or number one new. Python programming will be under letter A, Python, and then I'm going to move over number one new. I want to title this program Lights. I am going to use the built-in LED light that is here. I do not need to have a type of program. I'm just going to do a blank, but these are available for other projects. This opens up page 1.1. The title or the name of my program is Lights, and then the .py tells me it's a Python program. Python is menu driven, so I'm going to click on menu. These are all of the options that I have to run a Python program. I'm going to go to the TI Hub since that is what we're doing today. And I'm going to import the TI Hub module. So I'm going to click on number one from TI Hub import. This only needs to be done when you are starting a new file. So now that I have the module imported, I'm going to click on menu, go back to TI Hub. In earlier videos, I mentioned all of the built-ins for the TI Innovator Hub. We're using the built-in light. So I'm going to go number two, Hub built-in devices. And I'm going to go number one, uh, number two, excuse me, light output. And number one, I want to turn it on. And I'm going to press enter. Now, when I run this program, the light will come on and it would stay on because I did not give a command to turn off. So I want to turn it off. But I want to be cautious. I would like to pause between turning on and off so that students would be able to see it. So I'm going to add a pause statement, or in Python, it's called a sleep statement. So I'm going to go back menu under TI Hub, and I'm under going under commands instead. Commands number one, sleep. And I'm going to sleep for 0.3 seconds. That way students can actually see the light turn off and on. Not necessary to run, just helps in the flow of the program. I'm outside the parentheses and I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go back to the same place I was before to turn it off. So that is menu, TI Hub, we are built-in devices, you guessed it, light output, and now I'm going number two for off. Outside the parentheses and click enter. Now, I am in a program editor page for Python, a Python editor page. When I want to run it, I have to put it into a shell page. A while ago, when we went to menu, we saw the variety of options. I'm going to go to number two, run, and I want to run it, and it's going to open up page 1.2, a Python shell, so I'm going to click on run number one. Notice there is a shortcut, control R, and we'll use that in a second. As soon as you click number one, control R, we see the light turned on and then it turned off. It's very fast, students miss it a lot the first time. So I'm gonna do the control R again while I'm in the Python shell. Notice where my finger is, light came on, light went off. And it came on 0.3 seconds and then turned off. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this first Python program.